<laughs> Not at all. We're expecting uh, wind chills probably could get down into the teens in uh, maybe the Lakes area coming up by Wednesday morning mm -hmm. and uh, uh, certainly warmer than what they're dealing with up there. <laughs> uh, looking at, uh, let's see, a freeze watch and a hard freeze watch across southeast Texas. We'll get to that in just a few minutes, and that's for Wednesday morning. But uh, right now, things are quiet across southeast Texas with the front beginning to move on in. We're still very mild out there right now as uh, temperatures are still ahead of the front into the lower and middle 70s across southeast Texas. But as you can see, a lot of low gray clouds out there right now. Uh, not much on radar, uh, but we do expect that uh, cold front to bring us the coldest weather of the season coming up by tomorrow and also into say Wednesday morning and we'll likely set some records with this. Another front and rain coming in on Thursday and then cool dry weather expected this weekend. Can you make out the front? See the line right there? Just now moving through Woodville, your winds probably shifting to the west and that front uh, nearing uh, Sour Lake and still west of Winnie, but uh, we expect Again, freezing temperatures coming up across southeast Texas by Wednesday morning. No freeze tomorrow per se, but a hard freeze likely up in uh, to much of southeast Texas except for Jefferson County. That could be changing though. About 25, 26 up towards the north and into the mid to upper 20s here in the triangle is what we're expecting for Wednesday morning. We're at 76 over in Port Arthur. Debbie reporting 70 degrees on the Relief Windows Weather Watcher Network in Mauriceville. Lynn is at 71. Still very mild over in Jasper at 71. And in Old Salem, Stacy currently at 70 degrees. Can you see the line across southeast Texas? Warm and humid. Quickly falling in the 50s, the 40s, and then the 30s. Even 28 currently into Amarillo. And that is a good uh, 35 to as much as almost 50 degrees colder than it was 24 hours ago. That front continuing to move on off towards the east. And as you can see, temperatures tumbling into the 30s and 40s inland portions of Texas. So again, we do expect a better chance of rain coming up later on tonight as that front pushes on off towards the east. Temperatures will likely fall uh, just around or around freezing coming up tomorrow morning. No snow. And we're expecting uh, lows in the mid to upper 30s here in the triangle. Uh, so anything after about, uh, say, 9 o'clock, we'll start to see the uh, clouds thin out across the area. And we're going to need it because it's going to be hard pressed to get out of the low to mid 40s with this Arctic air mass moving on in. That's what's just so amazing is that uh, it's hard to do that in southeast Texas across the area as uh, even with sunny skies get out of the low to mid 40s. That's pretty amazing to see it that cool. And that's why we're expecting record cold high temperatures coming up for tomorrow. Rough seas on the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. A gale warning is in effect for seas three to five feet. North winds 25 to 30 knots are forecast tonight. An 80 percent coverage of rain developing later tonight. Cold and windy winds could gust to 30. We expect low temperatures just around or above freezing up in the lakes to the mid to upper 30s here in the triangle. And that means wind chills likely to get into the 20s for a good chunk of the area tomorrow morning. Then for tomorrow, clouds and a few showers in the morning will give way to sun in the afternoon. Highs middle 40s for the most part. Provided we get some sun, gusts up to 25 miles an hour can be expected. So we'll start off with the Wind chills in the mid 20s here in the triangle, 20% coverage of showers rising to 41 by noontime and then 47 with sunny skies returning to the area by 3 p.m. Extended forecast Wednesday. We're going 29 for Wednesday morning. Could be more like 26, 25 up in the lakes area. Highs maybe 50 degrees. More rain and chilly. Oh, look, a Thursday, yeah. wet and cold. I'm yep. not sure that was necessary. The 29, 26 bit. I had you until that point. That hurts. Just a little. <laughs>